Uh, yes, I do think the universe is infinite, but of course I can't prove it. Uh, so far, uh, the universe has allowed us to see 13.7 light year, billion light years in every direction, uh, and we can only guess what's beyond that. So, uh, on the other hand, it's a pretty good guess that we're not so special that we're at the center. So, uh, if the universe is not infinite, it's extremely, extremely, extremely large. Uh, that's a pretty good guess. Generally, we have understood that everything in the universe follows a pattern of having a starting point and eventually having an end. However, an interesting question looms before us. Does the same principle of beginning and end apply to our entire universe? In just three years since it started operating, the James Webb Telescope has brought about some truly surprising revelations that challenge what we thought we knew about the universe. The new discoveries of the Webb Telescope have created a serious controversy among astronomers. Scientists are finding unexpected things in the Webb Telescope's deep field images. Recent weeks have brought us astonishing discoveries made by the Webb Telescope, shedding light on how galaxies formed billions of years after the Big Bang. Recently, the James Webb Telescope has discovered the five most distant galaxies, which has once again sparked debate among astronomers. These galaxies are surprisingly strange, shaking the foundation of not just one, but four commonly accepted theoretical models used by scientists to understand the universe. We have various cosmological models to test our observations, but unfortunately, the Webb Telescope's newly discovered five galaxies have proved all our standard theoretical models wrong. This groundbreaking finding is significant and has stirred up the astronomy community. Not only this, what scientists found in the deep early universe could break the entire foundation of the standard cosmological model. Astronomers say that we did not expect to see something like this in the Webb image. Take a look at these two galaxies recently discovered by astronomers. They're astonishingly far away, located at a distance of 13.40 billion and 13.42 billion light years from us. The most distant galaxy discovered by the Webb Telescope is the Jade's GSZ-130, located 13.47 billion light years away. These galaxies are some of the most distant and remote ever detected by humanity. But wait, there's something even more surprising. In the most distant universe spanning 13.4 to 13.5 billion light years, only three galaxies had been confirmed previously, leaving uncertainty regarding whether these findings contradicted theoretical predictions or not. But recently, a research team has discovered two new most distant confirmed galaxies in Webb Telescope new deep field image. Now the number of confirmed galaxies has surpassed any prior theoretical predictions made before the launch of the Webb Telescope. These four standard theoretical models consider different values of dark matter content in the universe to achieve computer-generated simulations of galaxy formation. But recently discovered galaxies have proven all four models wrong. The research team led by Yuichi Harikan assistant professor at the Institute for Cosmic Ray Research, the University of Tokyo. For the first time, they made precise measurements of distant galaxies discovered by the Webb Telescope. Because countless galaxies from 13.4 to 13.6 billion years old have been discovered by the Webb Telescope. However, these objects are candidates for distant galaxies discovered from images, and determining their exact distances requires detailed analysis through spectroscopic observations. For instance, Sears 93316, reported as a galaxy candidate from 13.6 billion years ago last summer, was later determined through spectroscopic observations to be a galaxy from 12.6 billion years ago. Recently, the team led by Harry Kane deeply analyzed spectroscopic observational data obtained through the James Webb Space Telescope. Using this method, they discovered the two most distant galaxies whose exact distances were 13.40 
and 13.42 billion light years respectively. In the most distant universe, 13.4 to 13.5 billion light years away, three galaxies had previously been confirmed through spectroscopic observations, with uncertainty prevailing regarding whether these findings contradicted theoretical predictions. With the addition of two new galaxies confirmed by the team, a total of five galaxies have now been identified in the early universe, dating back approximately 300 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. But the surprising thing is that the discovery of these five galaxies was not predicted in any theoretical models published before the launch of the James Webb Telescope. Professor Yuichi Harakane said, before the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, large telescopes like the Subaru and Hubble were used to study distant galaxies, and their results were well explained by various theoretical models. However, the discovery of these five galaxies in the most distant universe by the James Webb Space Telescope was unexpected in any of those theoretical models. Scientists are saying that there could be more candidate galaxies in this era. The real count might further increase. Astronomers are facing a new challenge with these discoveries. They're observing a huge population of early galaxies just a few million years after the Big Bang. All this raises serious questions about our understanding of the evolution of galaxies. Additionally, the research team also looked at how fast the stars were forming in these galaxies by studying how bright they were. Surprisingly, they found that about 13.4 to 13.5 billion years ago, stars were forming four times faster than models had predicted. This discovery hints that the way galaxies, especially the first galaxies, were forming in the early universe may be different than we thought. Star formation within the Milky Way currently results in gas with about four solar masses condensing into stars each year. Since the average star is less massive than the Sun, astronomers believe our galaxy is producing about seven stars per year. Our Sun and the Milky Way galaxy have gone through billions of years of evolution to get to the size and shape they have today. But seeing similar galaxies in just few million years after the Big Bang definitely rises big questions. These observational findings indicate the existence of some unknown mechanism in the early universe that actively triggers the birth of stars, challenging the long-held theories of star and galaxy formation that we have maintained for years. Alternatively, these five galaxies might shine brightly due not to stars, but due to the activity of supermassive black holes. In that scenario, it would imply the existence of supermassive black holes in the early universe, posing significant questions about the birth and growth of black holes. These discoveries indicate that the universe could be much older than previously thought, or, or may have had no beginning that it has simply always existed. As we just find that our universe appears to be infinite in size, it's plausible that its age could also be infinite. What we perceive as the Big Bang may have been just a particular moment in the evolution of this always existing causal set, not a true beginning. Lastly, I would like to thank all my loyal followers for your extraordinary support during my journey. It is you guys who have really encouraged me to do better and better. Thanks for all your support. If you guys have watched this video completely, then don't forget to comment your thoughts on it. Thanks for your time.